hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for clicking this video if you're a returning subscriber i appreciate you for coming back today's video is going to be on the new kiali fragrance utopia hold on i don't even know the name of it <laughs> today's video is going to be on the new kiali fragrance utopia vanilla cocoa 21 i'm so excited to have this in my possession so if you're interested to see what my thoughts are please keep watching all right guys so as you may or may not know i have the entire collection from k ali's brand um i love just about every single fragrance um one that i'm not too much a fan of is the citrus but that's a whole nother story <laughs> so in saying that i'm saying um the majority of my collection from k ali is in the travel sizes um i started with the discovery kit and then I added a travel and the deja vu white flower just because I thought why get a big bottle of that if I'm not sure when I knew that there were bottles I wanted to invest in from the discovery kit full size. So um, unfortunately, well not unfortunately, but with this release I was only able to get the 50 mil. Uh, I believe that was the only size that was available considering that's the only size I saw um, between Huda Beauty's direct site and Sephora. So I ordered mine directly from Sephora. And this is what she's looking like. So this is the packaging. The white is probably gonna wash it out, but the trimming is kind of like a rose gold. It's beautiful. So again, this is my first full size Kiali fragrance. Um, spoiler alert i love the scent i've had it for about four days now and i've worn it like three out of the four one day i mixed it with some other kiali scents and another day well more so to bed i wore it um just like on its own to bed um so yes like i said spoiler alert i love the scent so <laughs> this is a Oude Parfume Intense, again 50 ml, so a 1.7 ounce. This retail for $100. Um, some of the notes are pear, jasmine, coconut, sandalwood, and vanilla bourbon. Um, and the bottle is beautiful, so I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> So this is the bottle it's stunning it's like a beautiful rose gold iridescence um there is kind of like a a blue hue to it which i love um very pretty very stunning and i love it um and then if you look up close to it you can see that it's not as opaque as it may look on camera um like you can see the dent that you have yet to put in it so i love that so i'm gonna read to you some of the notes off of fragrantica um just to see if there's anything that varies from the box sometimes they don't put all the notes on the box which is understandable the top notes are honeysuckle pear blossom italian lemon coconut milk the heart is jasmine sandbag, gardenia, tuberose, and ambrette. And the base is sandalwood, patchouli heart, vanilla bourbon, and musk. So it sounds beautiful. Um, this is um, kind of reminiscent to Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. I do not own Soleil Blanc, but I have smelled it and I can kind of agree to it. It does kind of smell. Um, I wouldn't say they're necessarily a dupe for each other, like they're not that reminiscent, but something kind of brings reminisce to Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. So I'm just gonna go right, go right on and spray it on me. I'm gonna give you a shot of the atomizer. Did you see that? <laughs> I love it. Mm, it just smells so good. So it's very creamy. I'm definitely getting a lot of the coconut. It's not necessarily like the jelly of a coconut, like as it's more creamier, but it smells almost like coconut water, if you know what I mean. Like sweet, but airy, but it's still creamy too. You can get that definitely the vanilla, um, you kind of get the crispness of a pear. 
it's beautiful this is gonna be like a beautiful summer scent beautiful for um travel like when you're going on vacation i'm actually going on vacation in a couple of weeks and i will definitely be carrying this along um or probably most likely a decant of it but this is beautiful guys this is like the ideal um summer scent it just kind of smells rich to me like it kind of gives me that rich vibe kind of like soleil blanc Fruitan four does it smells so good so i really enjoyed this and um like i had mentioned i paired it with um one day i had paired it with deja vu deja vu white flower oh my goodness first of all deja vu white flower has slowly um upped its way on my kaoli list and it's kind of my number one favorite at the moment um so i had paired it with deja vu white flower and oh my gosh the projection 10 the siash 10 longevity 10 i had it on for maybe like eight plus hours closer to like 10 um about the last two hours three hours or so it became more of a skin scent but i had you know if i still put my arm to my to my nose i can still very much so smell it and like pretty distinct um when i wore utopia on its own i would say that it was almost immediately a skin scent it does have a beautiful sillage but it's like um a personal sillage you know what i mean i wouldn't say that it was totally a skin scent considering that it does have a nice sillage and a nice air bubble but in comparison to like sweet diamond pink pepper there kind of is no comparison like that one projects that one has sillage that one has longevity this one on its own kind of you know as far as longevity i would say i got when i wore it alone i got about a max six hours um sillage a nice sillage you know it's a very nice sillage that it leaves behind um let's see projection like i said it leaves a nice air bubble but you know it's a personal air bubble so like i it hasn't filled up my room whereas if i sprayed pink pepper that would have filled up my room you understand what i'm saying so it's more intimate it's more personal um but nonetheless a beautiful scent uh, i love it i'm happy that i got this size and I'm very curious and intrigued to, you know, pair it with other Kaoi scents and just other scents in my collection in general. I actually also had paired this with Baccarat Rouge, the original, and that was like really nice too. Very different, but super nice, like very um, particular, you know, like nobody is gonna smell like this and Baccarat unless they Put it together but you know there's nothing on the market that smells like this and baccarat so that was also a really nice scent but yeah um this is going to be a really short video you know it's not really i pretty much touched on everything that i wanted to say um if i had to rate it on a scale of one to ten i would give it about an eight an 8.5 i don't have anything in my collection that's similar to it um yeah, I don't have anything in my collection that smells anything like it. Uh, I think that it's a beautiful scent, like I said, especially for the time being. Um, and it's just a beautiful addition to her already beautiful collection. Uh, Kay Ali, I realize, is slowly but surely becoming like one of my favorite um, home houses of perfume because I love every perfume. Like, Although I'm not the biggest fan of citrus, I can still respect it and I do tend to still use it as far as pairing. So even in that, I can appreciate it. Mona, you did your thing with this. So yes, if you haven't gotten your hands on it, I would 10 out of 10 recommend. It's definitely at least worth a sniff and to me worth getting. Um, but yes, that is it for my video. Again, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know down below if you are going to try out Utopia, if you have it already, what you think. Um, let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.